In this lesson, we are gonna learn how to sketch a plane in three dimensions. So what is a plane? Well, let me show you, it's a three-dimensional surface. So let's say, for example, I put a point here on the z-axis, a point here on the y-axis, and a point here on the x-axis. If I had to then connect all of that, now, if you could imagine this in three dimensions, what this thing is doing is it's going upwards, a little bit left, and it's also coming out of the page. It's actually coming out of the page. So this is like a triangle that is coming out of the page. Obviously, it's difficult to visualize three dimensions when we're drawing on a two-dimensional surface. But yeah, if I was a much better person who could, like a much better drawer or a better artist, I don't know, um, I could make it look more 3D, but yeah, that's what a plane is, okay? It's, 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 it's like a surface. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you exactly how to draw them. They're pretty easy to do. So in the previous lesson, I hope you've watched that one. We spoke, we were introduced to three dimensions um, because normally we only have two dimensions. We have an X and a Y. So we have X in the horizontal and we have Y in the vertical. So that's two different dimensions. But then in the previous lesson, we started with three dimensions where we now have an X axis, a Y axis and a Z axis. Um, so now we're still going horizontally, there we have it, we're still going vertically, but now we're also going into the page and out of the page, so we have three dimensions. Okay, Kevin, shut up now, you're talking too much. How do we draw a plane? Okay, it's very easy. So you need to find the X point, you need to find the Y, and you need to find the Z. It goes like this. So to find the X, okay, so to find the X point, what you're going to do is you're going to make y and z equal to zero. It's as easy as that. So you're gonna go to the y and you're gonna go to the z and you're literally just gonna replace them with a zero. So your equation would look like this, minus x plus zero minus four times zero equals to four. And so that's gonna give you minus x equals to four. So x is negative four. So you go onto the x-axis, which is this one, and you go to the negative 4. Now, where's negative 4? Well, if you look at the letters, the letters are telling you where the positive axis is. So this is the positive y, positive y, then this side would be the negative y. This is the positive z, then this would be the negative z. This would be the positive x, and this would be the negative x. So if you're looking for negative 4, then you're going to go on um, you're going to go on the negative x-axis, which is going to be this one, and you're going to go to 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. There. Boom. You're going to put a little dot. Okay. Now you probably understand what we're going to do next, right? Now we need to go find the y point. How do we do that? Well, now you make the other two variables 0. So now you're going to make x 0, and you're going to make z 0. So you're going to make x and z equal zero. Okay, so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna say minus, and then in brackets, zero, plus y, uh, minus four, and then z is also gonna be a zero, and that's equal to four. So what you're gonna end up with here is just zeros everywhere, except for that one, so y is four. So you go onto the y-axis, which is this one. Remember this side here where the letter is, that's the positive, so we're gonna go one, oh, that didn't look good, one, two, three, four and you're gonna put a little dot there. Okay, now we need to go find Z, or some people say Z. <laughs> and so obviously now you're gonna make X zero, and you're gonna make Y zero. So you just make the letters that you're not busy with zero. So you're gonna make um, X and Y equal to zero. So that's gonna be minus zero, plus zero, minus four Z, equals to 4. So if you had to work out z, you're actually going to end up with z equals to negative 1. So this is the positive z, this is the negative z. So we're going to go down by 1 like that. There we go. Now you're just going to take a straight edge and you're just going to connect a dot, or you're going to connect all of those dots together. So you're going to go there, you're going to go there, and you're going to go there. Pretty easy, hey? And that's it. So I'm going to do another example with you. So this will be our last example because it's pretty easy. So we need to go find an X point. So um, for the X point, you what do we do? We make Y and Z zero. Well done if you remember that. So you make Y and Z zero. 
So you're going to go to this y, and you're going to go to the z, and they're going to become 0. So you're going to say minus x, minus 2, then in brackets you're going to put a 0, and then the z is a 0, like that. And so you end up with minus x equals to 2, and so x is equal to, if you divide both sides here by negative 1, just to get the x alone, you end up with x equals to negative 2. So remember, this is the positive x, this is the negative x. So then you're going to say x equals to negative 2. Now to find the y point, to find the y point, you going to, what do we do? We make x and z. So you always make the other one 0. Um, so we're going to make x and z equal 0. So here's x, here's z. So that's going to be minus 0, whoops, minus 2y plus 0 equals to 2. And so you end up with minus 2y is equal to 2. Divide both sides by negative 2. And so you end up with y equals to negative 1. So on the y-axis, this is positive, this is negative. So you end up with a dot over there. Now we need to get the z point. So on the z point, you make x and y 0. So you make x 0 and y 0. And so that's going to be minus 0, minus 2 times 0, plus z equals to 2. And so you end up with z equals to 2. So this is positive z. This is the negative z. So you are just going to put a little dot over there, and then it's easy. Take a straight edge and connect them. And there is your plane.